just dropped off Laura at the bus station. She's heading to Bucaramanga for a couple days. She has some dentist appointments. And I want to surprise her by finishing a new project. And so I'm going to try doing the kitchen counter. Uh, I'm also a little bit nervous about trying to do it while she's here because I know I'm going to have to destroy part of a wall and that won't make her happy. But if I can finish it before she gets back, then I'm hoping she'll be pleased. We're Josiah and Lauda and we exchanged traditional comforts for a life filled with adventure, peace and freedom when we moved into our van Paz in June of 2021. Join us as we explore alternative ways of living outside the system. So we want to put the kitchen counter here on the lowest side. Uh, we didn't really think ahead. We want to use some pallets, but it's a little bit too high. So when I put the pallet here, it comes up to almost my chest. So the good thing with cob is we can get it wet and take some of it off, bring it down a little bit lower and hopefully it works out. So we've been working a lot on the house and it's been a lot of work, um, honestly. Not all good, but it's been great to see the progress that we've made. And I look around with the dogs running around and the birds chirping, and I think like, at least we're in a beautiful environment. I think being reminded <laughs> This is what happened behind the scene. <laughs> So we've been working a lot on the house and it's tough work, but looking at these little puppies is just a beautiful reminder of the environment that we're in. We're surrounded by nature. And I think back to when we were building the van on the street in front of my brother's house just outside of Seattle. And it was a very different environment. I can't imagine trying to build a house like this for months in the city. I completely agree with you. Uh, for me, nature is where I find my peace, my peace of mind, and where I can really connect with myself. The beautiful thing is that in the morning is that we have our own concert of birds. I feel like waking up in nature is a really spiritual experience, <laughs> and <clears throat> we live some beautiful moments in the band and I remember thinking I wasn't that happy since I was a child and I was with my family in the countryside. Those are a beautiful moments I have from my childhood. How was your experience in nature? Growing up I always wanted to live in a big city so uh, I grew up maybe 40 minutes from Seattle and I've lived in a number of big cities and I always thought like that's where that's where the action happens. That's where real life occurs. I mean, there's a natural appeal to just more people, more vibrance, more life, more things to do. But I mean, like we were talking about before, I think like those things to do, like two points. First, a lot of people can't actually afford those things and they're so busy working that they don't have the time to do those things. So they don't take advantage of those benefits of being in a city. So I was a bit nervous how the table was going to turn out once I started breaking into the cob wall last night. I hadn't really looked up any videos on YouTube, just was going with my gut. But uh, I'm happy to say that it's coming along pretty nicely, which is a little bit of a surprise, but uh, I'm sure there'll be obstacles that uh, will come up before we finish. I mean, I, I can work. I can, I can keep up with a fast-paced lifestyle. <laughs> But why? For what? Like, for me, being out in nature has taught me so much about myself and has helped me do the work to figure out who I am and what I want and, and what I want to do in this life. When I was in the city, I was just going nonstop. I was distracted. I was busy. And I didn't have time for any of those questions. Finding peace within myself is one of my number one objectives in life. And being in nature, it's an environment that supports me in in finding peace and maintaining peace in my life. Sometimes I'm so frustrated here building the house. But if I take a moment to look at the sky, look at a nice sunset, 
I feel better. Mm -hmm. I can meditate just looking at a tree and how it moves. Throughout history, looking back at past civilizations, like we used to be hunters and gatherers, like we naturally gravitated to being in nature. And then at a certain point, we started cultivating crops and then we stayed in one place. So what brought us to big cities, you know, work essentially for a lot of people, it doesn't actually apply now. I think especially with the pandemic, a lot of people realize that they can work remotely or they can work seasonally or they can look for different options outside of the city where they're still able to get a competitive salary without having to live in the big city. But a lot, a lot of people, myself included, never considered leaving the city because it's all I knew, mm -hmm. right? Like it's, it's what be, we become accustomed to because it's what we're born into. Mm -hmm. We are applying this waterproof protective coat for the protection of this wood that will be the pillars uh, that will support the bed. This is something that I remember last night. When I was a kid, I used to talk alone and talk to the birds and talk to the trees and playing by myself. I think that being in nature, you can connect with yourself and the world. And it's a really nice experience, like you feel the connection with nature, like we are all connected. Sometimes, or most of the time, you miss being in a big city because you have all these distractions that, of course, they bring you a lot of enjoyment, but it's a momentaneous, like, happiness. Now it is first time on the bucket. We finally got to the point where we're working on the loft to put the bed up. We're putting the holes in the ground in order to put the pillars up and then we're gonna put a cross beam and then have additional beams running the opposite direction to put the mattress on. I think a lot of people, myself included, have gone through seasons of their life where they suffer to find purpose. Like, why am I here? What am I doing? And being out in nature, watch animals just eating the grass and running and sleeping and watching everything work together and connect and just exist. It seems like it's so intentional. Like, yeah, that's what they're here for. Like, that's what they're meant to do. Mm -hmm. And for us, we're running around trying to find purpose. What are we doing? What are we doing? We just dropped the pillars in. Now we're filling the outside of the hole with cob, which is our form of natural cement. We decided not to go with cement. We want to do everything as natural as possible. We'll see how it goes. It's pretty sturdy so far. But in nature, I don't need to impress anybody. I just need to be present and be in the moment. <laughs> and connect with myself and connect with everything around me you don't need to have a purpose in this life you just need to be yeah it's beautiful like that is your purpose just to live today is a very important day we just finished the bed at least the frame of the bed so that's what we're sitting on it's pretty exciting something new something accomplished <laughs> I think thinking back to living in the van, we could go anywhere. We had no limitations. We we weren't worried about getting to work on time or being in any particular lo location. And we chose to spend 95% of our time in nature, at national parks, in the middle of nowhere. We were almost never in big cities. And I think instinctually, it showed us where we're meant to be, where we want to spend our time because when we had absolute freedom, that's where we were, mm -hmm. in nature. Yes. Ciao, Tarzan. Ciao. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our channel.